Last year we celebrate one year on Sisu. We sailed for 13,000 miles and we discussed the options that we had to live by for the last one year, inside and outside. We Sisu got hold out for the second time in six months. And Pietro is using the sail ride to fix some stuff. I service the decks. And the bottom paint on Sisu has been done for the second time in six months. This is Captain Frick and his first mate, Pietro. We decided to chuck everything. Leave the rat race and just embark on a new adventure. That is our new home, Sisu. Join us on our epic journey as we sail the oceans, discovering new horizons, new cultures, new tastes, new flavors, new everything. It's just such a vast, vast world to explore out there. So please join us in our quest. like a 4 million ton, million ton crane and we're going to be lifted out um, so all the noise that you're hearing is that we're actually here inside this thing and it is pretty daunting coming in you have to have, there's not much space this one is much better space than Saldana when we were lifted out before but this one, yeah and these guys don't know how to catch a 20 ton boat and you go and you tell them this is how you need to tie it up but they don't do it Okay, so Frick decided to rather dive and go and make a hundred percent sure those straps are not damaging anything there at the oh, bottom. Oh, <laughs> and the water is freezing cold. But it's not Cape Town. So. <laughs> rather to be on the safe side. All the sensors. Right. Better be safe right. than sorry. Thank <laughs> you. 
officer is out of the water, uh, getting prepared for a good clean at the hole, and then they're Defiling. going to do the anti-fouling. So they're going to, I think, brush off or I guess, scour or what. Remove the old yeah. paint and then put new stuff on. Well, we hope they're going to do that. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, they will do new stuff. I hope we do it properly. Proper. Yeah. And in the meanwhile, we are going to town yeah. to Indeed. do some needed supplies. Yeah, before the long trip. Yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be long. <laughs> <laughs> I think the next port will be Tunisia. I think it's going to be our longest trip ever. No, because no. we stopped in Tunisia. If we went straight for Turkey, it would have ah, been our longest. Okay, so but now we broke it up into two parts, to Tunisia first. And it looks awesome in Tunisia, so I'm very happy that we stopped in Tunisia. Yeah, that will be for me 97 countries then. So it's yeah. a new country, I've not been there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do lots of provisioning, our last yeah. spare parts. Oh, so it's going to be my, my second big provisioning since, well, first one since Cape Town. So it's going to, I'm stock taking and all that that's waiting for me the next day or two. And then it's buying, sourcing a place that can come and deliver at the marina. Yeah, and Sisu, we just measured it with the crane, this big ass crane here behind us. It is, she is now 20.2 20 20. tons. And in Yadport, she was 21.2. Uh, 20 that's a ton different. Yeah, but we we uh, uh, we still need to refuel, top up on the fuel, and we also need to fill our water tanks. The water tanks is empty, and that's 800 mm. kilograms already right there. Yeah, so we and we're then okay. we yeah, and then we need to provision, so that will be another. We ton. didn't we didn't <laughs> eat a ton of food. <laughs> it might look like it. But we yeah, <laughs> we we eat a, a ton of food, but not all of the ton. We could have been bigger. <laughs> <laughs> we should have been bigger. Yeah. yeah. So we need now to find how we get out of here. It's like, but look, it's, also it's a, a nice boat it's a, yard. It's a serious big boat yard. Nice and clean. Yeah, yeah it's very, very clean. clean yeah. Very clean, very, very organized. nice. Organized. organized yeah. Okay, let's find a gate <laughs> and then let's, the let's get out of here. Lots of boat work is happening here around Sisu. We're busy now cleaning the hull, making sure there's no little barnacles and also the, the anti-foul paint is stripped all the way to the epoxy layer, and the primer layer. And then we'll put on some places we need to put primer on, like, like here, you can see here's some white. And over here is also white. So everywhere where there's white we will need to put some primer on and this is from from the factory hmm. so we always wonder how these guys are working so we can now actually see all the little places or spots <laughs> where it was not done 100 percent properly so but big work at first we had a flaking issue at the joint between the sacrificial keels and the hull. This time it appears that the primer layer was applied over the anti foul layer, which caused bigger flaking issues. As we're cleaning the, the propeller, so it is nicely done check that so we also need to make sure all the barnacles is 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 uh, it's nicely clean it's nicely streamlined a feathering prop but look at this we need to get new zinc so the zinc doesn't look good this is the zinc on the new props this is maybe two months old So it might be that we have a problem in our electricity because look at this in tier 2. It's like kind of like eaten up already. But the props is nice and clean. Yeah. 
it is nice nicely feathered nice thin profile so when you sail it's fine so Petra is busy also working very very on heavy stuff uh -huh. <laughs> this is our what's this thing sail back, back. Stack back. yeah the stack pack sail back so one of the reef lines ripped it open and it's up to Peter to fix it now. Oh, look at this. Very nicely done. The door was all the away. The tear, tear, tear. All away from here. Yeah, so it started there. The tear is, was running all the way here and then up. So that looks very nice. Well done. Wait for it. Wait. It's not done yet. Sheesh. Yeah, that's the way it is. You're going to get that whole thing through there. Yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> Let me help you. Don't yeah. stitch them together. Wow, you can get the whole sail in there. Oh. Pietro also worked quite, <laughs> quite a lot and she's done a brilliant job. What happened one one stormy night was that the reef line went like that and in this one got got the tear all the way from there all the way to where it is normally fastened but yeah we lifted the sails with the topping lift and with the main alert so we lifted it up and then we could remove this bag much easier so we just take both these things on one side and then we slide it out at the bottom we had to slide it all the way to the front and yes buttons in here so you have to remove these buttons as well but it's done I call it was goodness this thing is powerful it pushes the whole very sail that's awesome we have another guy that's also working here very hard and very very good uh, busy putting all the sicker flex holes and all the gel coat holes and all of the things that happened but yes one hole is fixing this is yeah. a bubble yeah. yeah and he's also a very good singer ah yes <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> we actually met him in a bar uh, imagine play, that <laughs> i play uh, uh, old piano yeah <laughs> and, old and piano. a very old piano as well <laughs> At the wine tasting. <laughs> yeah. A very, very versatile man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sisu is now out of the water on the heart. We are pretty, pretty high. Um, and I can even see where it's see over the sea breaker wall. Big ass crane still all over us. Look, look up there. Ooh. Very big crane. 820 tons these guys can lift and while we're out me and Pietro is doing some maintenance much needed maintenance on Sisu one of it that I'm busy with I'm busy with two on the two diesel engines and as well on a little Yanmar van, van Tipex so one of the things that I need to replace is the spark plugs okay sorry the spark plugs so I need to replace that and Yamaha is giving you this little kit so in this little bag over there in this little bag over here we've got all sorts of tools stuff so we can do with this stuff apparently everything on the Yamaha so this one goes over the spark plug like that and for some reason there is no hole because it's a very tight spot and you need to you need to use this one to turn it like that it's all <laughs> i think if, if you walk over work over water then all your tools can drop into the water but if you if you work on the heart then it is pretty bloody far down there <laughs> and I have a fright of heights so I'm living on edge again 
and I already unfasten it so I don't still looks good it's not too wet not too oily I think it's sparking quite a okay look it's, it's not dangerous for your tools to fall but it's dangerous for the worker to fall I also serviced the engine but I will make a separate video just on how the Janmar is being serviced Atlantic Indian Ocean Blue Won't land in sight to stubborn Got me home from where I roam For the guys that want to know how big those rain holes are So the ones over there is that is the anchor locker so that's where the chain is and that is where the, the locker on that side is and that is for the hole on the locker on that side so we've got a locker there and we have a locker there and this is for the chain this drainage and then here at the back two huge drainage holes as well as another one here so the front cockpit is draining very fast this is for the locker next in the front cockpit basically on the seat and we have another drain hole there for the seat locker there and there's another seat locker there but these holes are huge they are very 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 big I mean <laughs> Sisu is pretty beamy uh, very 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 beamy so this is a huge huge one and okay I cannot reach it but it is it is very big that is very big so huge drain holes and then we have also a very big drain hole here where the between the the aft cockpit and the saloon the door one of the prerequisites of having the same the floor the same level the entrance the same level as the saloon floor is that you need to have big big drainage holes so you can also see huge huge drain holes that is where the lithium batteries are and this is another locker so there's a lot of drainage um, that's been built into into the leopards you can see the speed lock why the speed lock is not working all sorts of little animals is living on it. it it does run but I think if it goes to the one side it gets stuck because inside I need to open this one up again Sisu got the new bottom paint it looks beautiful just look at that everything done nicely and properly Just look at that. I've done my service for both the Yanmar engines. It's a it's a big big service. Just it's a 250 hour service and I had to basically replace the oil, replace the filters and there's three filters. There's a diesel water separator filter and then there is a diesel filter and then there is a, a oil filter <coughs> um, and then you need to drain also the engine oil but you also have to drain the sail drive oil and now that we were here in a, in a, on a heart it was easy to drain from the gearbox um, the suction pump doesn't take out all of the oil I've tried before and it takes out maybe one one and a half liter and it's three liters so it doesn't get all the way to the bottom of the gearbox at the bottom so but if you drain from the bottom everything is done well um, I also tapex new spark plugs new oil filter so that one is also nicely done and 
from the gel coat we had some bubbles and cracks not big stuff uh, I think it's it's normal stuff and then Yeah, I had some stainless steel, new stainless steel stuff that I need to do and a pulley that we had to fix. And that was about it. Not much other, but it cost a lot of money. And I am pretty tall, but this wheel is just... Sorry, this wheel is just huge. <laughs> Sisu is swinging quite a lot. I hope those bands, they are big bands, but I hope they hold and she doesn't slip. Swings a lot. Next week we dodge firefighting planes as we enter the marina and we made some very live, lively music and we went to visit the old town. Sisu also got super dirty every three days. <laughs> <laughs> 